your boyfriend to say, I love you, and he just replied with, love you. Well, here's he gonna get him back. Step one, you're gonna ask your boyfriend if he's ever seen a dead body, because it's your granddad's open casket funeral this weekend, and you'd like your boyfriend to come along with you. He was really a wonderful, wonderful man. Step two, you arrive at the funeral, say hi to the family, make your way over to your granddad's coffin, tell your boyfriend you will literally break up with him if he doesn't give your granddad a little goodbye kiss on the forehead, and just as your boyfriend leans in for that little goodbye kiss, you smash your boyfriend over the head with an urn, shove him into your granddad's coffin, and slam the casket shut. Listen here, you stinky little weasel. You're gonna tell me you love me, and you're gonna say it like you mean it. Or you'll spend the rest of your days six feet under the ground with my dead little granddad. And trust me, mate, he was boring when he was alive. So it's gonna be a hell of a lot more boring now that he's dead. What's it gonna be, Mr. Boyfriend? Are you gonna tell me that you love me? Or are you gonna spoon my little granddad in his coffin until your oxygen runs out and you shake your pants and die? Boom! Step three, your boyfriend screams out from inside the coffin, says, I love you, properly, instead of just love you. You simply let him out of the coffin, bury your granddad, and enjoy the rest of your granddad's funeral. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. What's the matter? Just hay fever. It's only you, nobody knew I put you first And for you, girl, I swear I'd do the worst Oh, uh.